Hey everyone, this is Chris Brown here. I'd like to officially welcome you to what we call as the Inner Game Program. This is our very first episode of the Inner Game Program. But in today's episode, we're going to address how to become self-motivated. You see, when people try to develop different areas of their life, perhaps going on a diet or a fitness program, or maybe even going from an employee to a small home-based business owner, many people try to rely on willpower. But willpower will not get you that far because you're, you don't have an emotionally strong enough reason for you to be successful just on willpower alone. That's not how the brain works. You need to develop new habits. Now, the way that it is often explained is that you start off your day with a full tank of willpower, and as you go throughout the day, you do spend that willpower. And that that's why, you know, before you, you go to bed and you want that little snack before you, you go off to bed. And that's why so many times we give in to our cravings of, of that, you know, chocolate cookie or that chocolate cake or some sort of a dessert, some, something that's not very good for us because we spent the willpower during the day. Now, any time we start anything new, based upon willpower alone, the average person will quit doing that new thing within 22 days. So the key is not willpower, but to develop the habit. Now, experts say that it takes 21 days to develop a habit. And if you make it past those 21 days, most people won't make it past 90. And those people who make it past 90 won't, won't make it much past that point either. So this is the way that, that I kind of like to look at this. So as you can see here in the graph in front of you, this is the way that willpower works. So let's say, let's use this as an example. Let's tell a story. Let's use this as an example. Let's say that you get an invitation in the mail to your, uh, let's say your 10th or your 20th high school reunion, right? So, so you decide, hey, I need to go lose some weight. So maybe you join a local gym or you join a, 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 a you know, a, a, one of those, buy one of the products from those TV info commercials like Beachbody, P90X, Insanity or something like that. You decide to go on a diet, you start eating well, and your excitement level on that very first day is at its highest. It's at its, at its peak, right? So you're very committed at that day. Comes around day number two, you're still very, very committed with it. You're not as excited with it because you do see the things that you are starting to have to give up in, in exchange for what it is that you're trying to go after. But you're still pretty excited and you keep on doing day three, day four, day five. Now, usually on day five, that's when Friday night comes along, right? So on Friday night, you're going to go out and, and go out with, with some of your friends. And, you know, you might go to a club or you might go out to eat or you might go over to their house and you might drink some alcohol and they might encourage you to eat the way that they're eating. So uh, you might have some heavy food, some heavy pastries, some meats. Um, they might... They also encourage you to have some dessert and what do you do you do give in under the pressure and you say yeah i can i'll i'll go to the gym and i'll work off at the work it off at the gym tomorrow and you know i'll i'll get, I'll get back on it tomorrow but then saturday comes along day six now comes along and uh, on day six you say oh i'm really tired and the reason that you're tired is because you gave into your your desires you gave into your your old lifestyle so you skip the gym and decide ah, I'll just do it another day and then you do it another day and then all of a sudden you just drop off within within your, your first week um but you know some some people do continue on but again 90% of people will not even make it first or past past day 22 because it does take 21 days to develop that habit so as you can see like i said according to the graph as you can see here on day one you're really excited but as time progresses you get less and less excited about this now humans are funny creatures we fail to take responsibility for our own actions. Take, for instance, when we join a diet or a fitness program again, we'll come up with all these reasons outside of ourselves of why we failed, 
why we could not lose the weight. Uh, we have a bad metabolism, we have a chemical imbalance, and all these reasons outside of ourselves, when in reality, we just couldn't get our lazy ass off the couch, right? Now, some of the wealthiest people I've ever had an opportunity to know take responsibility for things when they go wrong. Even if it's not their fault, they still take blame for someone else. Now, some of the funniest are home-based business people. You look online, you find people online, they're always looking to find out if a certain company is a scam. Now, if you look online and look at like Google or something, and you'll find ads like, is company XYZ a scam? Is company ABC a scam? What you should know before you join this company? And all these things projecting that these these companies are scams. Now, earlier this year, the, the there's a site called Money Talks News that did a report on the top 10 scams of the year and reported, as reported by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, none of them were home-based businesses. Now, even when a home-based business opportunity is classified as a scam by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, it is normally not what we think. Take, for instance, Frank Kern, who is a very famous uh, internet marketer. Uh, he's done marketing campaigns for a lot of celebrities, some very, very, very successful companies. But he got sued in the beginning of his career by the FTC, uh, not because he was a scam, but because he did not have a disclaimer on his website. And when lazy people bought his products and never opened the package and complained, there was no legal disclaimer. Now, since then, he charges more for his products. He charges so much for his products that he believes that people will be more likely to put into action uh, the stuff that he teaches at that high price point. Now, since the, then, he even charges more. Right now, he charges an average of $100,000, uh, and he believes that people who pay $100,000 will follow through and get results. And he found out that when he charges so much, he found out that these people take action. People who spend $100,000 at that price point, 100% of them take action and make money. Now, again, it is in our nature to blame others for our failures. If we don't lose the weight after going to the gym, we say we have a chemical imbalance or we have a bad metabolism or come up with some other excuse, right? But no, you never got your lazy butt to the gym and to work out in the first place. But now that you're aware of this, you're less likely to procrastinate. So over the next several issues, I will explain what you can do to make sure that you follow through and become self-motivated. Now, if you're watching this video on YouTube or if you're watching this on our blog, please in the comment sections down below, please share what you are doing in order to become self-motivated. Now, I do hope this information has been helpful. I had a blast filming this video for you here today. I also want to encourage you to check out some of our local sponsors, and you'll find those down below directly underneath this video. Now, one of those is a wholesale travel agency that we call as the Endless Honeymoon Package. And the reason we say that is because according to the U.S. Travel Association, who says that that couples who says that 79% of couples who travel together say that their uh, relationship and their marriage has improved after returning from vacation. So again, we've partnered up with a wholesale travel agency to bring you what we call as the endless honeymoon package, which gets you the best price guarantee anytime you travel or 150% money back. Kids also travel for free in most cases. You also, anytime you spend money at places like, you know, Apple and Target and Walmart and you shop at places like that, places that you normally shop on a routine basis, a portion of that money will be re rewarded back to you in order to help you to finance your next vacation. They also have what we call as mini vacations or mini honeymoon packages that gives you the best price guarantee or the vacation is free. So you can find another place that's cheaper, they'll, they'll, they'll send you on the vacation for free. But you also wanna check out the links down below directly underneath this video, whether you're watching this on YouTube or whether you're watching this on our blog for more details on that. But again, I do hope this information has been helpful. I had a blast filming this here for you today, but stay tuned for our next episode. Bye-bye now.